a few weeks ago, Chaitan, one of our community, uh, told me that a special teacher of his who he's had faith in for many years um, was coming to the city. And he forwarded me some of uh, Venerable Sunim's teachings. And um, we realized that we'd have the chance to welcome a truly uh, amazing teacher and really create a new friendship between traditions, between teachers, and between communities. The Junkto Society, who have uh, so wonderfully organized so much of this, they're the ones in the great blue vests, uh, are a uh, part of Seattle as well, and we're very grateful to um, create a friendship with that community. So just want to begin by uh, thanking um, Chaitan for putting us in contact with Sunim, to the Junkto Society for helping organize so meticulously on every front this Saturday, for all those who came today to join in this special event, and most of all to Venerable Sunim for coming and meeting us. Um, and uh, it was quite a journey. I think he's visiting 21 different cities in these coming days, and the fact that we're one of them is quite a blessing. So um, I think we're just going to begin by, uh, Gary, do we have any announcement about St. Mark's? And you can use the mic at the front to amplify yourself. Yes, uh, St. Mark's has donated the use of this space to us every week. And um, for those of us who would like to thank St. Mark's, I should let you know that there's at a table in the back, there is a uh, collection box for them. There's also one for Junto and for us at Clear Mountain. And you could either put something in those or there are QR codes on all three boxes. Thank you, Gary. We wanted to give people the chance to donate if they wish, but it's very important people realize this is a completely free offering with nothing expected. It's just a joyful chance to come together. So welcome. And um, this morning I had the chance to have tea with Venerable Sunim and he uh, noted that in any uh, good tea drinking, you need a, a really nice cup to hold the warm tea. Just like uh, in practice and meditation, you need structure, community, ritual to hold uh, the warmth and tea of practice. Um, so to have the chance to let our communities come together and be a teacup of some kind for Venerable Sunim's teachings is really a special chance. Um, after the gathering, uh, we'll have a potluck and uh, just a coffee, a chance for people in these communities to get to know one another out front in the lawn. So just want to invite people to partake of that. Um, you're also welcome to take any of the books in the back. They're all for free. And to begin with, we'll have a meditation. So about a three minute sit together and then we'll begin the questions and answers. So begin just by setting your body erect. Soften any tension around your forehead, your eyes, your jaw. Your tongue. Soften your belly. And just take these few minutes to let the breathing settle into a slow and relaxing rhythm.
allowing yourself to settle in in a sense of calm and friendliness, metta. Grateful for the chance to be together this morning. Whatever's coming to you from the day, worry, excitement, exhaustion, nervousness, just let it know it's welcome. Just let it be. These minutes are just making space for what's there right now. and letting the breath settle and ground you. And now just extend a sense of friendliness, gratitude, and warmth to everyone sitting here with you this morning who've come to value something you value, support your practice, and just hold them in that field of care for a second. And then take that sense of friendliness and gather it into a small pearl which you tuck into your heart to take with you the rest of the day.
people may continue to sit or open their eyes. First, I just want to note this will be a bit of a longer session. We'll go to 11.15, so if you need to stand up or use the restrooms, which are in the foyer, the women's restroom is to the right, the men's to the left, please feel free. Venerable Ponyan Sunim is the founder and guided Zen master of Jungto Society, a Buddhist practice community modeled after the Buddhist traditional Sangha, a volunteer-based community. Sunim is well known for his unique ways of engaging audiences in Dharma Q&A, called Juk Moon Juk Suul, which I'm definitely mispronouncing, in Korean, and casual conversations in English. With his Dharma talks across Korea and the world, engaging in a lively, no-holds-barred Q&A with people from all walks of life, Venerable Ponyan Sunim has become a household name as a popular mentor and spiritual teacher. He is also a well-respected North Korean expert. He has engaged in humanitarian and human rights work regarding North Korea since the late 1990s. His work has been featured in the New York Times and numerous media outlets. He is the founder and chair of an international relief agency, Joined Together Society, a center for peace, human rights, and refugees. Good Friends, a think tank, the Peace Foundation, and an environmental movement organization, EcoBuddha. He is a recipient of Asia's Nobel Prize, Ramon Magsaysay Award, and won the Niwano Peace Prize in 2020. Since the pandemic, Venerable Punyan Sunim has been engaged with the public through online casual conversations called Live Dhamma Talks. Today's event is a part of his first tour of Europe and North America since the pandemic. And we're so grateful to have him join us and for Junk to Society for helping facilitate. Hello, everyone. It is very great to see you. 오늘 이런 자리를 마련해 주신 CMM 관계자 여러분께 감사 말씀을 드립니다. First of all, thank you all, CM, all in CMM um, for inviting me and have this opportunity. 또 이렇게 좋은 장소를 빌려주신 성공의 신부님이야 관계자 여러분께도 감사드립니다. And thank you to the church and the, the pastor for um, allowing me to have this great um, space for the talk. And I also thank you all the volunteers um, for today. 오늘 여러분과 저는 인생에 대해서 대화를 하려고 합니다. Today, you and I, all of us, are going to have a conversation on life. 남자니 여자니 한국 사람이니 미국 사람이니 어, 기독교니 불교니 이런 모든 차이를 넘어서서 그냥 우리 인생을 어떻게 살 것인가 이런 주제를 가지고 아무런 제한 없는 대화를 하려고 합니다. And we will have a conversation on how we should live our lives and we will transcend all the boundaries um, of nationality whether you're American or Korean uh, men or women or Christian or Buddhist and we will have a conversation without boundaries or borders. 인생에는 어떻게 살아야 한다는 정해진 길이 없습니다. There is no predestined way of how we should live a life in such a way. 자기 좋을 대로 살면 됩니다. You can just live as you wish. 음, 그런데 괴로움이 발생한다면 왜 좋을 대로 살았는데 괴로움이 발생할까 하는 의문을 가질 만합니다. But if we wish live uh, our lives as we wish, but we encounter suffering, then we have to pause and ask ourselves, why should we have suffering? Although I had lived my life as I wish. 이렇게 우리가 살아가면서 일어나는 많은 모순들에 대해서 우리는 어, 의문을 가질 수 있습니다. So we have 
all the questions about contradictions or dilemmas that we encounter as we live our lives. 그런 것을 두고 우리가 대화를 해보자는 것입니다. That's the topics of today's conversation. 제가 여기 자리를 마련했는데 앞으로 나온 것은 대화를 하기에는 이 거리가 너무 멀어서 제가 밑으로 내려왔습니다. First, um, our volunteers prepared my um, seat in behind the table, but um, to have a conversation, I wanted to be closer to you, so I came here and standing in front of you. 네, 그러면 대화를 시작하겠습니다. So now, let's get the start, the conversation started. Uh, I think Chaitan told me to ask the first question, and I, I have one. Um, what is a teaching or two from your teachers or the scriptures which you've come back to again and again through your life more than others? That is, don't look outside of yourself, but look inside yourself. As a young monk, I had a lot of complaints or criticism about Korean Buddhism, uh, which was, I thought, that non-Buddhist. So I made a protest and um, a harsh criticism towards my teacher and complained about um, that, at the time, current Korean Buddhism. 그는 가만히 제 얘기를 들었습니다. And he was listening to me silently. 제 얘기가 끝나자 그는 이렇게 말했습니다. After I was done, and he, this is what I what he told me. 어떤 사람이 말이야? Let's say there's a man. 남 밑에 가만히 앉아서 그 마음을 청정히 하면. Sitting under a tree, quietly and cleaning and purifying his mind. 그가 that's a practitioner. 그것이 절이다. That's where the temple is. 이것이 불교다. And that is Buddhism. 그는 이렇게 말했습니다. That's what he told me. 저는 그 이후에 기존 불교에 대해서 일체 불만을 하지 않게 됐습니다. And after that conversation, I stopped complaining about existing Buddhism. 머리 깎은 사람이 스님이 아니고. I realized that a person who has bold hair, shaved his head, that's just not making him a monk, but a person who purifies his mind, that's practitioner and he's a monk. 어떤 절이 건물이 절이 아니고 청정한 마음을 가진 사람들이 모여 있는 것이 절이다. A building is not a temple, but a space where a, a clean mind or purifying mind, um, where the people gathers, that's temple. That is Buddhism. 그러니까 오늘 저희들이 이곳에서 깨끗한 마음을 내서 서로 대화를 한다면 우리 모두가 수행자입니다. So today, if we have a pure and clean mind and have a conversation, then that makes all of us practitioners. And this church becomes a Buddhist temple. And this perspective is Buddhism. This teaching helped me refrain from all focusing on what's outside and the physical aspects. Uh, 대해서, uh, and another time, I was making criticism about the Buddhism. Uh, 
And my teacher told me to become a pine tree in front of a stupa. 소나무가 어릴 때는 탑이 소나무를 가립니다. When the pine tree is small and little, um, it becomes under the shade of the stupa. 그래서 소나무가 탑을 탓한다. Then the little pine tree um, made criticisms about the stupa. 그러나 그럴 필요가 없다. But there is no use to do that. 소나무가 자라서 탑을 가릴 수가 있습니다. Because the pine tree can become larger and it can make shades um, over the stupa when it becomes big. 그러니까 남 탓하지 말고 너 자신이나 잘해라 이런 얘기. So don't complain about other people, just do your own good thing. 네. 자, 누구든지 여기 마이크가 있으니까 나와서 얘기하십시오. 순서가 있습니까? 네. So, uh, so uh, Gordon. Thank you so much, Pamyan Sunim, for taking my question, and I hope you're safe throughout all of your travels. Uh, so I'm Chinese American, um, and throughout my life, I've always visited China every few years um, to see my extended family. And throughout my life, I have witnessed the relationship between the two countries completely deteriorate. And I feel like it's painfully clear that these two countries are closer to war than they have ever been. Um, and this has been bothering me for a long time because I feel like war is always wrong. Um, so I am wondering, how can this be the case if the two countries, first of all, only got involved in the first place because the rulers of both wanted to make more money, can't they just uh, sever their relationship like divorced lovers who don't live together anymore? Um, how can normal people uh, support or participate in war when normal people everywhere would almost all of them never take a life, let alone take the life in the horrible ways that you would do in war? Um, and how can I, what can I do to prevent war in my life? First of all, um, uh, miss all this situation, we have to first make our minds peaceful. 내가 마음의 평화를 유지할 수 없으면 미국이나 중국 누군가를 미워하게 됩니다. If we don't remain peaceful in our minds, um, it is inevitable that we become resentful towards either country, US or China. 평화를 가져오기 위해서 폭력적으로 행동할 수도 있습니다. Or it can lead us to act in a violent way um, in the name of peace. 어, 그렇기 때문에 먼저 아, 이러한 세상의 변화를 이해할 필요가 있습니다. So first of all, we need to first have a uh, accurate understanding of what's happening in this world. 어, 과거 어, 수천 년의 역사를 살펴보면 이 탑에 있는 두 세력은 이렇게 패권 경쟁을 할 수밖에 없습니다. So if we look back um, on the history of uh, humankind, um, the sort of top two persons or top two countries or top two groups, um, they inevitably have to have a, a complex or competition. Uh, In most cases, the results and consequence was a war. Uh, but not all the time. Uh, 2차 세계 대전 후 소비에트와 미국은 경쟁 관계에 있었습니다. So for example, after the first, after the second world war, the Soviet Union and the U.S. were in competition. 어 소비에트가 해체될 때 이건 전쟁을 통하지 않고도 해체됐습니다. But the the Soviet Union, when it was dissipated, it didn't. There was no war. 어그 지금 미국과 중국 관계는 그것보다는 좀더 어렵 경쟁 관계가 심하고 어렵게 생각이 됩니다. But it is true that current situation between the 
US and China, um, it's a little um, severe or uh, in a non-amicable relations than that time. Uh, 물론 경쟁하지만 공통 부모 경제적으로는 많은 공통적인 연관을 갖고 있습니다. Um, although they're in competition, um, they also have um, a common, a lot of commonalities and common grounds. Uh, so, uh, from my perspective, I, in my opinion, there are 50-50 chance uh, whether there's a war um, as a result or just keeping um, this competition continues. 어, 지금 우크라이나 러시아의 전쟁을 막는 방법은 러시아 사람들이 반전 운동을 할때 가장 효과적입니다. So let's look uh, at the Ukraine war. So the way to stop the war in Ukraine is Russian people have a uh, anti-war uh, protest inside Russia. 어, 내부에서 평화 운동이 일어나서 전쟁을 멈추면 어느 누가 하나 패배하지 않고 전쟁을 끝낼 수 있습니다. So if there is an anti-war protest and those um, strengths inside of the, the Russia comes into play, then there is no one who actually was defeated um, during the war. 어, 그렇기 때문에 이, 이것을 전쟁을 통하지 않고 어, 전쟁을 하지 않고 평화를 유지하려면 미국은 미국 안에 국민들이 중군 주간의 국민들이 평화 운동을 해야 합니다. So in order to resolve the situation between US and China at this point, we need respective countries people, so American people in the US and Chinese people in the China, they have to have this movement um, anti-war movement inside the, the nations. 근데 이러한 어, 경쟁 관계에 처할 때 내부에서 평화 운동을 하는 것은 오히려 내부에서 많은 비난과 저항을 받기 때문에 어려움이 있습니다. But when the two countries are in conflict or competition and the competition is severe, um, if you have this um, anti-war or anti-conflict movement inside your country, you may have to receive a lot of criticism or, you know, um, um, yeah, refusal from inside. 중국에서 만약에 그렇게 한다면 미국 간첩이라고 어, 모함을 받을 수 있고 미국에서 그렇게 한다면 중국 편이라고 모함을 받을 수가 있습니다. So if you do so in China, you will be criticized um, being a traitor to your country, and if you do it in the U.S., you will be criticized as a traitor to your country. 어, 그렇기 때문에 이런 어려움을 우리가 알고도 전쟁을 막기 위해서는 평화 운동을 해야 합니다. But understanding all these difficulties that might ha that might happen, we need to uh, be proactive and engage in peace movement. 염려하거나 불안해하는 것보다는 작은 행동을 하는 게더 중요합니다. So I think that it is more important to make a small action, whatever small that, however small that is, um, rather than worrying or um, being anxious about what's going to happen. Thank you so much. That helps. Um, Gary. Good morning, and thank you for coming. I have a question about interior life. Um, I'm kind of new to the Dhamma. We talk about separating, about letting go of myself, recognizing that I am one with everybody, even those that I may contend with. Recently, I have difficulty doing that. And recently I heard a mention of the idea that if I didn't recognize my own agency, my free will, 
I might let go of myself more easily. And I don't find that's helping. I'm wondering what your experience is. How do you let go of yourself? How do you recognize thoroughly your unity with everyone? What is that like for you inside? Well, here, letting go is not the point. The point here is whether that brings you suffering or not. So if that brings you suffering, if that makes you suffer, then you have to let it go. 만약 그것이 괴로움의 원인이 아니라면 놓아버릴 필요가 없습니다. If that doesn't make you suffer, if he, if that doesn't necessarily bring you suffering, then there is no use. Um, or there, you don't have to let that go. 자유 의지가 free will. 내 괴로움의 원인이 된다면 놓아버리라는 겁니다. If free will becomes the source of my suffering, then you need to let it go. But if free will doesn't bring you suffering, it doesn't make you suffer, then you can still have your free will and you can act up according to your free will. Do you have any follow-up questions? No, that I think that points me to a good direction. Thank you. 네, 좋은 방향을 제시해 주신 것 같습니다. 감사합니다. Kim? 잠깐만요. 잠깐. Please. 어, 이 문제에 대해서 제가 조금 추가적으로 제 경험을 얘기하라고 해서 um, before we go on to the next question, let me follow up with my experience because the questioner asked for my experience. As a young man, um, I was detained by the police and I experienced a torture, physical torture. He told me to confess my wrongdoing. 어, 그러나 나는 그들이 요구하는 것을 행하지 않았기 때문에 말할 게 없었습니다. But because I didn't do anything they accused me of, um, there was nothing I, I could say. 음, 그들은 처음엔 구탈을 하다가 나중에는 물고문이라고 해서 숨을 못 쉬게 했습니다. First, they asked me and they requested me to confess, and then later on, um, they forced me using um, a form of torture, and they um, they made me they made it hard to breathe. It was so painful, and I was fearful. But I persevered. 그러나 사람이 견디는 데는 한계가 있었습니다. But there was a limit to the extent that I could persevere and persist. 제가 숨을 못 샀어. 거의 의식을 잃을 지경이 됐습니다. And then I actually reached a point where I almost fainted because I was not able to breathe well. 음, 그때 갑자기 눈앞에서 하얀 화면이 나타났습니다. At that moment there is this image of whiteness. 그 화면에 개구리가 한 마리 매를 맞고 쫙 뻗어서 달달 떨어 떨면서 죽어가는 모습이 보였습니다. In that image, there was a frog. Um, the frog was bitten and it was shivering and it was dying. 네, 그 모습이 저희 현재의 처지와 똑같았습니다. That frog was actually a reflection of the state that I was in. 
근데 저는 어릴 때 개구리를 많이 잡았습니다. But then I realized as a child I actually caught a lot of frogs. 작은 매를 가지고 개구리 등을 때려서 이렇게 잡아서 닭의 모이를 줬습니다. I used to hit the frogs and um, with a with a little stick and then um, chop it into pieces and then gave the pieces to chicken. 어 근데 저는 아무런 죄식도 없었고 그것이 문제식이 없었습니다. But as a child, I didn't feel any sense of guilt and I didn't feel any wrong about doing those things. 불교를 만나서 살생하지 마라 해도 거기에 대해서 사실은 깊은 성찰은 없었습니다. After I became a Buddhist, there was this precept of not killing, but I didn't really have a, a true understanding of what it meant. 그런데 내가 개구리처럼 그렇게 죽게 됐습니다. But at that time, I became just like the frog that I caught and um, killed, and then I was becoming like that frog. 아, 그때 내가 얼마나 두려워하고 또 생명이 얼마나 소중한지를 알게 됐습니다. And only then I became really real. I became uh, under. I realized how fearful that the frog must have been and how precious a life is. 그때 갑자기 자책하는 마음이 들면서 나 같은 놈은 죽어야 돼 이런 생각이 들었습니다. But at that moment, I felt a sudden sense of guilt, and then a man like me, who have done all those terrible things, I should, I should be dying. I should die. 그래서 저항하는 것이 멈췄습니다. And then I paused, um, protesting, and you know, uh, making all these actions against this um, process of dying. 얼마 있다가 어, 고문도 멈췄습니다. And soon after, the torture has stopped as well. 그러니까 저항을 멈추자 바로 어, 고통도 멈췄다는. So as as soon as I stopped um, agitating, my suffering stopped. 그렇게 여러 번 대풀이해서 고문을 당하고 있었는데요. And that process repeated many times. 어, 그런데 고문을 하는 그들도 고문하는 것이 매우 힘들기 때문에 중간중간 휴식을 해 가면서 했습니다. And those people who were torturing me, um, it was not an easy task for them as well, so they had to take a break from time to time. 음, 그들이 휴식 시간에 자기들끼리 얘기하는 것을 들었습니다. So during one of those breaks, I overheard what they were talking about amongst themselves. 음, 그들의 자녀가 대학 시험 시는 준비를 하는데 이번에 시험 공부 시험 성적이 잘 나와야 될 텐데 못 나오면 지방으로 가게 되면 내가 경비가 많이 든다 이런 일상적인 대화를 하고 있었습니다. So they were talking about mundane, ordinary things. For example, one of the uh, guys, um, they, he had a child who takes a college entrance exam. If they, uh, if the daughter or son doesn't really have a good exam score then he or she needs to go to another city then it makes it will uh, make force me to spend a lot of money and then economically it will be difficult for them those kind of you know everyday things 그들은 나를 고문하는 악마가 아니고 그들은 내 주위에 있는 평범한 시민이었습니다 at that time they're not the devils that were torturing me but they were just ordinary citizens like my neighbors 그들이 집에 가면 그냥 사랑하는 한 여인의 남편이고 한 아이들의 아버지고 한 노인의 아들일 뿐입니다. So when they go home, they're just loving and beloved husbands, um, fathers and sons. 그리고 그들은 직장인일 뿐입니다. And they're just an employee. Of a company or a government or whatever that is. 어 uh, 그때 저 속에 있던 그들에 대한 증오심이 미움이 사라졌어요. And at that moment, my hatred and resentments towards that people just disappeared. 
저는 그때 성경의 한 구절이 떠올랐습니다. And then I realized and I recalled a phrase from the Bible. 예수님께서 십자가에 못 박혀서 돌아가시면서 자신을 십자가에 못 박은 사람들을 향해서 주여 저들을 용서하소서라고 말했습니다. The Jesus when he was dying um, and uh, when he was crucified towards the people who executed him um, he said Father forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. 그 다음 문장이 저들은 자기가 지은 죄를 모릅니다라고 했습니다. So important part here is they do not know what they're doing. 저는 어릴 때 성경을 보면서 그것을 잘 이해할 수가 없었습니다. When I was young as I read those phrases I didn't really understand what they meant. 어, 그런데 오늘 저는 그것을 이렇게 비교적 온전하게 이해할 수가 있었습니다. But now I have a better understanding what it means. 이렇게 우리들은 경험을 해 가야 합니다. So like this we have to have experiences. 머리로 이해하는 것, 머리로 지식으로 아는 것은 실제 인생에 도움이 되지 않습니다. So knowledge that you know intellectually doesn't really help um, practically in your daily lives. 그러니까 뭘 해야 된다, 버려야 된다 이런 것이 중요한 것이 아니라 실제로 그렇게 할때 여러분들에게 괴로움이 사라지는 경험을 하게 됩니다. So not only understanding uh, you have to do something, you have to let something go, um, when you actually experience that, then uh, you realize that your suffering um, just goes away. 네. 다음 나오세요. Uh, next, Kim. 감사합니다. 어떤 것을 말씀합니까? 네? 어떤 것을 말씀합니까? So do you have any um, what 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 do you in in which areas do you have your self doubt? Yeah, so um, recently uh, I feel like just sort of waves of it um, coming up and sort of coloring a lot of different areas, so sort of colors, um, everything from sort of practical things like um, maybe feeling like um, sort of um, insecure in my capacity in lots of areas in my life, maybe practical things like um, what I'm offering the world um, in, in my career, in my practice, as a parent. I feel like it sort of colors a lot of things and, and isn't, uh, it, doubt isn't really the, the hindrance I usually deal with, so it feels new and sort of vulnerable. Um, But it sort of colors colors a lot of aspects of my life right now. So usually this kind of um, thing happens when um, there is a gap between. Um, your expectation and what is really actually objectively needed to um, accomplish those tasks. 
실제 있는 것을 받아들이면 그런 것은 사라집니다. So uh, self doubt may disappear when you let go of your expectation and accept uh, what there is um, as it is. 예를 들어서 말하면요. For example, 내 실력이 100이라고 할 때. Let's say my capacity is 100. 어, 그럴 때 시험을 쳐서 130이나 150이 나오기를 바라면 시험 칠때 불안합니다. But if you wish to have score 120 or 130 at an exam, then you feel anxious. 안될 수가 있기 때문에. Because it might turn true. 또 내가 70을 바라면 아무런 두려움이 생기지 않습니다. But if you wish for 70, then there's no anxiousness, anxiety. 그러니까 실제보다 과한 바람을 갖고 있으면 그렇게 되지 않을 확률이 높기 때문에 심리가 불안해집니다. So if you have higher expectation than what the reality is and what you currently has, then um, the possibility of not realizing that becomes higher, then you become more anxious. 계속 의문 있으면 계속 질문을 하셔도 됩니다. Yeah, please keep keep going. If you have follow up for the questions. Yeah, thank you. That's that's very helpful. And and I have noticed it um, connected very closely to feelings of anxiety or activation in my system. I guess my only other question is, um, can you speak more to the the process of letting go. Um, you just let it go. So in, in many cases, if you try to find a way to do it, then it means you don't want to do it or you have this feeling of um, I don't know, resisting. Let's say there's this red metal ball. So pretty. You want to have it, so you just grabbed it. 손이 뜨겁습니다. But you feel really hot. 그럴 때 어떻게 놓습니까? Then how do you let it go? 아 뜨거! 이러고 그냥 놓습니다. <웃음> you just drop it. It's hot. 그런데 이 공을 이쪽 손으로 옮겨, 그러니까 어떻게 놓습니까? 아 뜨거! 어떻게 놓습니까? 어떻게 놓습니까? 이 말은 놓기 싫다는 거예요. And you still grab it and just ask questions, how do I let it go? How do I let it go? That means you don't want to let it go. You move it to your right hand, it just solves the situation momentarily. Your left hand becomes cooler. But then your right hand becomes hot. And then you ask how to let it go. Just put it on, on your net, uh, net knee. And then it solves the situation. And your lap becomes hot. And then you finally just, just you know, drop it on the floor. Do you need all this process? No need. Uh, Grace? Uh, um, I want to be free from suffering and 
um, seeing it, I feel it, it's very visceral, and um, see it in everybody, and I want to be on a path that's monastic, and I know many women who do as well, and as a woman in form in this world, in this life, I'm curious what you have to say to all these women out here that find it a bit difficult to find that path. And I also know you say that that can be found in any form and um, lay person or monastic, but for those of us who do aspire to monasticism, um, especially as a woman, yeah, what would you say? Thank you. So, the key point here is it whether um, you would like to become a monastic or whether you would be free from suffering. Free from suffering. 네, 고통으로부터 벗어나는 데는 성녀가 되느냐 안 되느냐는 아무 관계가 없습니다. So, um, in the path of freeing yourself from suffering, becoming monastic is not an issue. 성녀가 되면 안 된다든지, 성녀가 되야든지 그런 것은 없습니다. So, there's no such thing as to you need to become a monastic or you should not become a monastic. 성녀가 된다는 것은 내 삶의 방식을 어떻게 할 거냐 하는 문제지 고통에서 벗어나는 것과는 관계가 없습니다. So becoming a monastic is more about in what format you live your life and it is not directly related to whether you free yourself from suffering. 나는 저런 성녀의 삶의 방식을 나는 선택하고 싶다 하는 것은 자유입니다. So you are free to choose the way of life as a monastic. 만약에 승려가 된다고 괴로움이 없어진다면 지금 승려들을 다 모아서 각국의 승려들을 모아서 한번 조사해 보세요. 괴로움이 없는가? So if you if so let's say if you become a monastic, you free yourself from suffering, then we, we can test, we can gather all the monastics in the world in one place and ask them question whether they have freed themselves from suffering. There's no, not so much of difference between them and yourself here. It's only the difference of the kinds of suffering each of us have. 그러니까 왜 괴롭냐 이 원인을 밝혀서 그것을 제거해야 합니다. So what we need to do is why do we suffer? So we need to identify and locate the source of suffering and cause of suffering and we need to get rid of it. 그것은 그 원인이 제거되면 결혼을 한 사람이든 안한 사람이든 승려든 아니든 기독교인이든 불교인이든 이건 관계가 없습니다. So if you just can get rid of the source of suffering. It doesn't matter whether you get married or not. If you, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you, it doesn't matter if you're American or Korean, Christian or Buddhist. So, what is your suffering? 한 가지만 얘기해 보세요. Just one thing. Just one thing. Oh. <웃음> 아무거나 괜찮아요. Anything. Hmm. It is the belief that um, that I have to choose a path in life in order to um, awaken from the the bonds of all the sankharas and uh, chains to the sense world that I have. 
길을 선택해야 된다. 다시 한번 묻겠습니다. 왜 괴롭습니까? 지금 자신에게 괴로 자기의 번뇌 가장 큰한한 한 가지를 한번 얘기해 보세요. So let me ask you again. So what is the biggest suffering that you have right now and one thing and what is the source of that suffering? Uh, I guess to put it like plainly just attachment attachment to the world. 어떤 집착이요? What kind of attachment? <웃음> um, sort of the story of grace, the the me that I believe that I am in all the different layers of emotions and um, you know, in my mental perceptions of the world down to emotions and down to this body and all the belief that this is me. Um, Yeah, just how I, I live daily life, all the things that trigger all these patterns that are habits, and then seeing that attachment and not being able, um, again, to let go uh, because I just haven't seen clearly enough, and I know that. Um, and I, there's this belief that if I um, can guide myself in this temporal world that we live in to a sort of gradual path of training, Um, like monasticism, then I can see through, I can see more clearly everything, and then I would see through this suffering and not, not attach. Um, So just because you shave your head, does that make you fuller when you're hungry? No. 밥을 먹어야 배가 부르죠. When you're hungry, you have to eat. If you want to feel full. 옷을 이렇게 갈아입는다고 배가 불러집니까? Changing your clothes doesn't make you full when you're hungry. 당신이 태국으로, 한국으로 장소를 옮긴다고 배가 불러집니까? Even if you move to Korea or Thailand, it doesn't make you feel full when you're hungry. 이름을 바꾼다고 배가 불러집니까? Not even if you change your name. 배가 고픈 걸 해결하려면 밥을 먹어야 합니다. In order to solve your suffering when you feel hungry, then you have to eat. 음, 괴로움을 해결하는 데는 어떻게 된다고 괴로움을 더 해결하기 쉬운 방법은 없습니다. When you would like to tackle the issue of suffering, There is no certain ways to remove your suffering. 지금 여기서 왜 괴로운가 하고 탐구를 하셔야 합니다. Here and now, you have to examine why do I suffer. 그러면 어느 순간에 원인을 발견하게 될 것입니다. And then at some point, you will realize the cause and source of suffering. 그 원인이 제거되면. And then when the source and cause of suffering is removed, then you you're free from suffering. 음, 그러나 그 괴로움이 또 일어날 수가 있습니다. But again, the suffering can come back. 음, 그래서 재발하지 않도록 유의를 해야 합니다. So that's why we have to careful um, not making it come back to you. 이것이 부다의 가르침입니다. That's the teachings of the Buddha. 지금 나는 괴롭다. Right now, I suffer. 왜 괴로운가? Why do I suffer? 그 괴로움의 원인을 찾습니다. And then examine the cause and source of that suffering. 그 괴로움의 원인을 제거하면 괴로움이 사라집니다. And then when you remove the source and cause of the suffering, 
then it goes away. 그러나 재발할 수 있기 때문에 다시는 괴로움이 일어나지 않도록 깨어 있어야 합니다. But it can come back in any time, so you have to be mindful all the time and awake to yourself. 이것을 네 가지 성스러운 진리 그리고 여덟 가지 바른 길 이렇게 표현하고 있습니다. That's the four noble truth and the eightfold eightfold path. 그러니까 지금 첫 번째 단계 아 내가 괴롭다고 인식했다면 왜 괴롭지 하고 되물어야 합니다. So now if you realize you are suffering then you need to ask yourself why do I suffer? 돈이 없어 괴롭다. 돈이 없는데 왜 괴로운가 이렇게 물어봐야 돼. So let's say you suffer because you don't have money and then you have to ask yourself why do I suffer because I don't have money? 개는 돈이 없어도 안 괴롭잖아요. Dogs they do not have money but they don't suffer. 왜 괴로울까? Why do I suffer? 이렇게 계속 당구해야 합니다. So you have to keep asking yourself and investigate. 그러면 어떤 아 그렇구나 하고 자각을 하게 됩니다. And then at some point you will reach to this aha moment and you have the realization. 이런 관점을 갖는 것이 붓다의 가르침이지 뭘 모양을 바꾸거나 외우거나 형식을 갖추는 게 붓다의 가르침은 아닙니다. So having this kind of perspective is what the Buddha taught us, and it's not only about what you recite, what you memorize, or the formats of what you're doing. 근데 지금 질문자는 왜 괴로운가 하고 물어보니까 자기가 뭐 때문에 괴로운지 잘 모르는 것 같아. And I asked you this question, why do you suffer and what is your suffering? And in my understanding, I think you don't really have a clear and specific um, understanding of what is your suffering and why you suffer. You can't really find it um, only because you shave your hair. 이렇게 괴로움에서 벗어난 뒤에 어떤 생활을 할 거냐 할 때, 어, 초가성녀 생활하는 게 훨씬 재발 방지에 도움이 된다. 그럴 때 선택을 해야 합니다. So you can first reach this awareness or awakening, and then afterwards, if you choose to, if you think um, having a monastic life, um, it's easier to um, prevent that suffering come back, then you can choose that monastic life. 물론 지금 가도 됩니다. Of course, you can choose to become a monastic right now. 아, 그러나 그것은 핵심은 아니라는 거예요. But what I'm saying is that that's not the point. 감사합니다. 아, 준영. 안녕하세요, 선생님. 아, 어, 미국까지 번길 와주셔서 감사합니다. 어, 저는 이제 아니 한국말은 안 됩니다. 아, I have to ask it in English. 네. English로. Oh, okay, that's okay. I think I can. Okay. So, um, sorry, I wrote the question in Korean, so I do have to translate. Um, so I immigrated to uh, United States when I was little. Um, I'm in my late 30s now. Um, recently, so I I felt like I was I somewhat attained my financial goal. So uh, recently, I've sold all my businesses, and right now I'm just in the process of just you know managing my real estate and helping out uh, inside my house, in, inside the house with my family. Uh, the problem I've run into recently is that I have, because I have a lot of time now, free time because I don't have a nine to five job, um, 
I felt like I've become very lazy in a way. <laughs> um, I've told myself that when I quit my business, uh, that I'll you know, work out and lose weight and all this, but instead I've actually gained more weight. And uh, I, I, I felt really, um, I, don't, I feel really ashamed of myself for not being able to, you know, do the things I said I was going to do after I, um, you know, after I got rid of my businesses. But anyways, um, because this financial attainment and early retirement was my biggest goal in life, now that I've somewhat attained that goal, uh, I feel really empty. I don't know what to do with the next phase of my life. And I find myself kind of toying with things that you shouldn't be toying with, that the things that the society tells you not to toy with. Um, what is the best way to, for me to um, kind of get that, uh, that meaning of life back into my life? and to fill that emptiness and re-energize my life? That's my question. There's, there's no problem. Okay. <laughs> so there's no intrinsic meaning in life. Well, if there is, you have you need to you only have to create it and you can just have it. So you're free to choose to have create a meaning and have it, or you can choose not to have it and not to create it, but just originally there is no meaning in life. If you want to play, just play. If you want to suffer, just suffer. There's no, there's no problem. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to be careful with five things. Don't hit or kill other people. Don't steal other people's possession. Don't sexually abuse or, or assault other people. Don't curse out. Don't um, don't lie to other people. Don't cause harms to other people. Uh, intoxicated. Or doing by by drug by doing drugs. 그런 것이 아니면 뭐 어떻게 살아도 아무 상관이 없습니다. Other than that, you're free to choose what to do and what you want to do. 뭐 자든지 일어나든지 놀든지 you can 뭐 sleep, 자기 마음대로 하세요. You can get up and you can just play whatever you want. 네, 심심하면 다른 것도 하시고. 뭐 하시고? 심심하면 다른 일 하시고. Well, if you feel bored, you can try to do other things. 또 바쁘면 힘들면 쉬시고. And then you become busy and you can take a break. 그냥, 그건 자기 인생이에요. It's, it's your life. Uh, can I ask one more question? So the, I guess the, the whole reason I'm asking this is because uh, I am married, I have a child. And I guess my only, everything you said is absolutely correct, but my only concern is that uh, these, my, how should I say, my, uh, these things that, the, the, this person that I've changed into after my some retirement, I hope, I, I don't want that to cause harm to my family, I guess. I don't want it to turn into a person that causes harm to my family. And uh, I just don't even want to get to that point, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> You don't, you don't have to worry, nothing to worry. If a father becomes lazy, then children will learn from it. Then you will have a lazy son. Well, father becomes lazy and son becomes lazy, it's okay. 
뭐 아내가 뭐 마음에 안 들면 뭐 이혼하고 가겠죠 뭐. And if father, if your wife doesn't like you anymore, then she would probably ask for a divorce, and it's okay too. 그럼 혼자 살면 되죠 뭐. Then you can live by yourself. 나도 혼자 사는데. I live by yourself. By 아무 문제 없어요. There is no problem. 그러니까 자기 선택이라는 거예요. So it's your choice. 그러니까 아내가 도망가는 것을 원치 않으면 아내가 원하는 걸 조금 해줘야 돼요. So if you don't want your wife to leave you, then you should do something your wife wants you to do. 네, 수입이 줄어드는 걸 막으려면 경제에 조금 신경 써야 되는 거예요. And if you worry about your um, wealth or you know money becomes smaller decrease, then you should do something about it. 문제가 있는 게 아니라 내가 선택하고 내가 책임을 지는 거예요. So there is nothing. Wrong, or there's no problem per se, but you make a choice and you make, um, res- you take responsible for your question, your decision. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Clara. Uh, Julian. Okay. And Alma. Oh. Don't to compare to say. Like it. Can I uh you go to the natural? I'm sorry. Um, so I have been thinking about what to ask, but um, this is the only one I, I would like to ask at this moment. Mm. Like people are, uh, they have been like uh, struggling in their life. Um, they uh, tend to like empty their mind and uh, do meditation for themselves. Oh, I tried <laughs> when I have conflicts in my mind, but I still don't get it. What does that mean, empty my mind and being in meditation mode? <laughs> so uh, if you can tell me the best way that I can be in um, meditation mode for myself and then be calm, um, they'll be really helpful for me. Um, what causes the conflict in, in your mind? Um, a lot of things. Um, relationships, I think that's the most uh, the hardest thing. So let's take an example from the relationship. So in relationship, why and what causes your conflict and struggle? Um, the conflicts between uh, the difference, I have to admit the differences, but it's sometimes it's hard um, because like when I see, uh, when I show them I'm trying, but one another is not trying. Um, and then I keep on trying, but I don't see uh, that someone else is not doing anything for the, uh, the better relationship, then should I just keep on trying or <laughs> just walk away? You can end the relationship. But sometimes I have to... So when we were born, there were, there were no relationships. 그래도 뭐 어릴 때 울고 잘 살았잖아요. 
But as a baby, we were just crying and we were just living our lives. No problem. 관계를 맺는다는 것은 더 좋게 하려고 관계를 맺는 거 아니야. Having relationships is in order to make our lives better, right? Oh, yes, I agree. But, but, but if it causes your suffering and struggles, then you can let it go. Uh, but sometimes we, uh, we are part of the society and we have to be in that relationship. So we can't just simply walk away. You don't have to. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, but uh, for example, if I have conflicts in um, at my work, yeah. and then I have to make income for my living, but I have conflicts, yeah. but can I just simply walk away and then being starving? <laughs> you can quit your job. There's a social welfare in the American government, and you can do it. 벌려면, but if you want to earn more money than that, then you can just take it. That's your choice. 해야 되는 건 없어. 의문 없어. There is no such thing. There's not. There, there's nothing that you have to do. Oh, then, um, do you believe if I walk away from that relationship and conflicts, then is that, uh, does it mean like I, um, uh, I'm just fully released from the conflicts? So you said the cause of the suffering is the relationship. So if you quit or leave the relationship, then there is no suffering anymore. So in total darkness, if you turn on the light, it becomes bright. And if you turn off the light, you go back to the darkness. If you want brightness, you, you, you just have to turn the light on and then you can just... And if you want to be in darkness, then you just don't have to turn the light on. Yeah, but it's hard. <laughs> Why does it have to be hard? Uh, because it just keep bothering me in, in, inside of me. 그러니까 그 힘들게 하는 원인이 뭐냐는 거예요. So what is the source of your internal conflict? 힘들다, 힘들다 이러지 말고 무엇이 힘드느냐 이렇게 물어보세요. So instead of just saying that it's hard, I suffer, just ask yourself what makes you suffer? What is the cause of your suffering? Oh, that's, I can't just let it go. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just, yeah, trying to keep it and find the best solution by myself. I feel like that's uh, what I have to do. <laughs> yes, continue, please continue. Uh, yes, I will try. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think this is it, but um, it, it's really hard, but I think you gave me some, uh, recommended some ways that I have to um, work on, so I will try. So letting go happens when you hold on to something. What are you holding on to? Oh. If you find it, you just let it go. But if you try to find it, but there's nothing there, then there's no need to let that go because there's nothing. So the point here is not how and where and whether you let that go, 
But the point here is, what are you holding on to? The, uh, then if I want to hold whatever I ha I'm having it now, uh, but there's some conflicts and hardness, then uh, I have... 인생에서 한다면 전제하지 마시고 <laughs> 무엇을 갖고 있느냐 이렇게 봐야 됩니다. So let's not talk about if. Uh, Just let's investigate what are you holding on to now. Deal with it or leave it? Is it what you are saying? Um. No. no. 지금 내가 괴롭다 하니까 왜 괴로운가 이것을 살펴라는 거예요. So when you say, you said you have conflicts. So why are you have your conflicts? That's my point. So you said it's hard to let it go. So I'm asking you, what are you holding on to? That's not a question of how. Confused. <laughs> no, it's not like from your answer. Like, whatever um, I I have conflict and then what I what I'm having it and I want to keep keep that. Uh, I just don't want to leave it uh, and then walk away. But. Uh, 그럼 갖고 싶으면 가져도 좋습니다. 그러면 갖고 싶다 하면 그 가질 수 있는 노력을 해야지. 왜 괴로워합니까? So if you want to keep it, if you want to hold on to it, you're free to do so. And if you want to hold on to it, then you have to make efforts to keep it. So my question is not um, telling you to not have it, not keep it, but you're free to choose to keep it and have it and hold on to it, but you said you're suffering from it. You're suffering because of it. So why do you suffer? So isn't it the case that you don't want to make a lot of effort, but you want to keep it? So maybe you have to put some efforts that is enough to keep it? Yes, that's true. <laughs> Very true. 그래서 그래서 부처님이 그걸 욕심이라는 거예요. 그걸 부처님께서 oh. 그런 거를 욕심이라고 하는. 거예요. So that's what the Buddha uh, described as greed. Oh, yes, 욕심 greedy. 때문에 괴로움이 생긴다. So suffering comes from greed. 그러니까 괴로움에서 벗어나고 싶으면 욕심을 버리라는 거예요. So if you want to free from suffering, then you have to let go of your greed. 원하는 걸 버리라는 게 아니라 욕심을 버리라는. 거예요. So it's not letting go of what you want, but it's letting go of your greed. Um, I will try. <laughs> I don't think you haven't turned the light on yet. <laughs> okay. If you have follow-up questions, please continue. Uh, one last question. Then, uh, how do I find the the right position or like um, right level for myself? Like not being greedy. Um, uh, I can't. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Um, but, uh, how to just keep maintain myself uh, without being greedy? <laughs> Is it going to be? <laughs> so if you suffer, you let it go. If you don't suffer, you can keep it. It depends on me, like how I feel. Yes. 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 <sighs> Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's very true. But um, I think I know the answer. I knew the answer, but I have um, just um, I've been forgetting what I have to realize for better life. But I think you just reminded me. Um, 
이게 뜨거운 불덩어리를 쥐고 있을 때 놓아야 합니까? 놓아야 된다, 놓아야 된다 해야 합니까? When you hold on, when you are grabbing the the hot metal bowl, um, do you just let it go, or do you have to think you should let it go? Act first. Yeah, <laughs> it. Why are you keeping on? Why are you are you holding on to the thought that you should let it go? I think um, my all my efforts, time, like uh, everything I put that on the, on it is too big. Um, so I I just can't uh, leave it. I think that's why. So. 네, 오늘 모로코에서 지진이 나가지고 그동안에 많은 노력을 지어진 건물이 부서졌어요. 그럼 어떻게 해야 됩니까? So today in Morocco there was an earthquake and a lot of buildings that a lot of people put into their time, effort and everything, they all collapsed. What should we do? We 엄청난 노력을 했는데 건물을 지었는데 건물이 부서졌어요. They built the building, putting a lot of tremendous amount of effort. Should we just keep the remains of the building? 아무리 많은 노력을 했다 하더라도 no matter, 철거를 해야 합니까? No matter how much effort you have put into it, we have to clean it up. 부모님이 돌아가시면 어떻게 해야 합니까? When your parents pass away, 나를 낳아주시고 키워주시고 그 고마운 분을 어떻게 땅에다 묻습니까? They gave birth to me. They they've done everything for me. How should we bury the body in the, in the ground? 그걸 어떻게 불에다 태웁니까? How can how can you burn the body? 집에 모셔야죠. You have to keep them right in the house. 그러나 아무리 사랑했던 사람도 죽으면 땅에 묻든지 불에 태워야. No matter how much love you put into that person, when they pass away, you have to bury them in the ground or you have to burn them. Likewise, whatever that is, that is the source of the suffering, then you have to let it go. If you want to be free from suffering. I keep on let it go, let it go, then I got nothing eventually. Yeah, <laughs> 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 You will just be. You will just exist. Yeah. Nothing goes away. Just you will exist. As you will exist on this earth. You will exist in the United States. Mm. Are you sure? Ne. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. It's just a matter of you being here or there. Then does it mean like I I need to believe it it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to everybody, something like that. Oh, yes. yes. I think you just think too much. So just don't think. <laughs> How do you let go of the metal, hot metal bowl? It's hot and you just drop it. So you're thinking, you're asking to yourself, is it really hot? If I drop it, who should just take it? And those kind of questions you're asking to yourself right now. Yes. Let's conclude. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sunim. We do have to wrap things up, but uh, perhaps just as one final question, what's one piece of advice or teaching you would leave us with as a new community of practitioners uh, and for all of our practice here?
욕심을 너무 내지 마라. 응? 욕심을 너무 내지 마라. 음. Don't be greedy. <웃음> 욕심을 버리라는 게 부처님의 가르침이에요. So let go of your greed. That's the Buddha's teaching. 근데 불교의 가르침을 전해야 된다는 것도 욕심을 내면 괴로움이 생깁니다. But when you hold on to the thought that you have to spread the Buddha's teaching, then that becomes greed too. 즉그 일을 많이 한다고 욕심이라는 게 아닙니다. Um, just because you do a lot of work uh, spreading the Dharma, that doesn't make it greed. 그러니까 괴롭다면 욕심이라는 거예요. But if you suffer, then that's greed. 이 세상에 그 어떤 것도 괴로하면서 할 만한 일은 없습니다. But nothing in this world is worthy of your greed or your suffering. 괴로하면서도 그 일을 한다면 뭔가에 사로잡혀 있는 상태. But if you do something while suffering from it, then then there's greed. 만약 어떤 일을 꼭 해야 한다면 그 일을 하면 되지 왜 괴로워합니까? If there is something you need to do, you think you should do, then you just do it. There is no reason to suffer from it. 많은 사람들이 괴로워하는데 그 사람들이 괴로움에서 벗어나는 것을 도와주고 싶다고 하면서. 그일 때문에 괴롭다 하면 모순이잖아요. Many people are suffering in this world and you want to help them free themselves from suffering but while you do the work and you suffer then what is it? 남을 돕는 일을 즐거운 마음으로 해야 합니다. So you just have to help other people with delighted mind. 왜냐하면 남을 즐겁게 하려면서 왜 자신을 괴롭힙니까? You're trying to help make people become happier but why do you suffer from it 남을 위한다 하는 것도 사실은 착각입니다. Well, when we do when we think we're doing something for other people and on behalf of other people, that's also misconception. 남을 위하는 것이 내가 더 만족스럽기 때문에 하는 겁니다. We do those work because helping others make us feel more satisfied. 즉, 나를 위하는 길입니다. So that's for ourselves. 나를 위한 것이라는 것이 분명해야 상대에게 어떤 대가를 기대하지 않습니다. So we have to make this first certain that we're doing it all because of ourselves and for ourselves, then there's no um, resentment or negative reactions towards other people. 음, 그래서 그냥 한다 이렇게 말합니다. So that's why we're saying, just do it. We just do it. 또 정확하게는 어, 할 일이 없다 이렇게 말합니다. More precisely, um, there's no, there's nothing to do. 할 일이 없는 가운데 일을 해야 걸림이 없습니다. 걸릴 일이 없다. 걸림이 없다. Okay. So when we do things. With this understanding of that there's nothing to do intrinsically in the first place, then there's no um, conflicts within ourselves. 종교라든지 수행이라든지 어떤 방식이 에, 우리를 좋은 것으로, 그러니까 괴로움이 없는 것으로 인도한다면 다 오케이. 그러나 그것이 에, 괴로움의 원인이 된다면 우리는 그 무엇이든 놓아야 합니다. So religion, practice, all the formalities, if they guide us to a happier and less suffering lives, then that's okay. But if it brings about all those things, then there's problem. 남을 위해서 나를 희생해서는 안 됩니다. So we should not sacrifice ourselves on behalf of others. 남을 위하는 속에서 자신의 기쁨을, 자유로움을 가질 때 이게 진정으로 나를 위하고 남을 위하는 길입니다. So only when we feel happy and delighted and satisfied while helping others, that's true way to make ourselves happier. 그리고 오늘날 기후 위기 시대에는 적게 소비하는 것이 가장 훌륭한 사람입니다. And in this age of climate crisis, um, a life of less consumption, that's the best way to live. 
네, 그러니까 많이 소비하기 위해서 이렇게 지나친 경쟁과 여러분들의 그 스트레스를 는 자신을 괴롭히고 어, 기후 환경 위기를 더 초래합니다. And competition and stress coming from wanting to have more and consume more, um, that's detrimental to all of us. 네, 소비주의에 대한 중독은 마약 중독보다 훨씬 더 강합니다. Addiction to consumerism is much more severe and worse than, you know, addiction to drugs. 저는 여러분들이 이 소비 중독으로부터 조금 더 자유로웠으면 합니다. I hope um, that all of us become free from the addiction, from addiction to consumerism. 네, 오늘 여기까지 하겠습니다. Let me conclude here. 감사합니다. Thank you. So we have to wrap things up sooner than we'd wish, but um, perhaps uh, we could all just, Gamsa uh, Hanido means thank you in Korean, if I'm saying that right, Gamsa Hamnido. So if everyone could say Gamsa Hamnido together to Venerable Sunim. Gamsa Hamnido. <laughs> okay. And uh, in Theravada Buddhist style, we then say Sadhu three times, which means that was great. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Sunim, we are so grateful for you coming. And uh, Clear Mountain got you uh, several gifts. There's a, a lotus. <laughs> Sorry, that's fine. And um, tea from China wrapped in the Lotus Sutra. And a calligraphy pen <laughs> or brush. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Um, next, could we have the uh, Junkto volunteers stand? All those from Junkto? Gamsa. Hamnido. <laughs> okay. uh, Clear Mountains volunteers and Chaitan, you may stand. Good. Gamsa Hamnido. And finally, G, stand please. Gamsa Hamnido. Okay. And um, Michael, can you come up to receive a gift on behalf of Clear Mountain to Junkto? So we uh, have a Guanyin statue which Clear Mountain would like to give to Junkto Society. And tea. Uh, there's no easy way to carry it back, is there? You can just leave it there. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay, great. So um, we're so grateful for this new friendship between Junkto and Clear Mountain. And I uh, want to thank everyone for participating in our first uh, joint gathering. Um, I also want to, for those who did come up and ask questions looking for meaning, looking for instructions on meditation, People should know Clear Mountain. Uh, we're a new uh, kind of organization, but we meet here every Saturday at 9.30 a.m., usually not in this space, but in the adjacent building over just next door in Skinner Auditorium. You can find details at our website, clearmountainmonastery.org, or at any of the materials up front. We also have daily online meditations. Um, but if you are looking for a community of practitioners and uh, a really wonderful group of meditation 
uh, practitioners to join with, we invite you to, to come. Similarly, Junkto has practice sessions as well, and you can find their materials in the back if you'd like. Um, all the teachings are offered completely freely, and we invite you also to take uh, any of the books in the back. They're all freely offered. Finally, we have uh, Daniel, one of our members, offered donuts today, lots of donuts and coffee, and a bunch of our members also brought some uh, potluck uh, and food to share, and they'll be offended if you don't help eat it. So we're going to have a picnic out in the front lawn right after this, and we just want to invite everyone to, to join, get to know one another. It's a very special group of people here. That's it. Um, if we can say uh, one more time, Gamsa Hanido, Hamnido, and uh, one final round of applause for Venerable Sunim. <laughs>